this video I'm going to be working out an individual integral. I'm going to take a look at the integral of x plus 3 over x minus 6 dx. Um, actually I'm going to start with two different ways to do it and then uh, we'll finish out with maybe say the easier way of the two. Alright, um, one way to look at this is I've got an x minus 6 on the bottom. If I can get an x minus 6 on the top then I'll have a form of something over 1 with a little bit left over and then I can separate that into two separate integrals. Okay, so um, this is the less intuitive way to do it but if I looked at this as the integral of x and then I need a minus 6 to have form an x minus 6 over x minus 6 um, equaling 1 so I'm going to go minus 6 well to legally be able to do that and not change the problem I've got to go ahead and add 6 I still have that plus 3 that's in the numerator and then I've got the x minus 6 in the bottom there. Alright, now putting that together, if I put this together and over itself and this together over itself, I can separate this into two integrals. So I could separate this into the integral of x minus 6 over x minus 6 dx and then I could do the integral of adding the 6 and the 3 right there a 9 over the x minus 6 dx. Alright, and then obviously this goes to a 1, so that would be the integral of 1 dx, which is real simple to do there. And then this over here, you can take that 9 out and then uh, just do a 1 over the x minus 6. Alright, now that's the less uh, direct, less intuitive way to do it. Okay, if you can visualize something like that, I mean that works out and, and it's not too too bad there. All right, now what most people are probably going to do is they're probably going to take a look at this and go, oh hey, that's a polynomial curve. So I can just simplify that polynomial curve uh, by long division. So as long as you don't mind long division, then you could do that. So let's come over here and do that. Now uh, you'd put the x plus 3 on the inside of the box, and you'd put that x minus 6 on the outside of the box, and just divide that out. Okay, x goes into x1 time, 1 times x minus 6, and we are subtracting that. The x's fall out. 3 minus a negative 6 there is going to give me a 9. So then I know that my quotient is going to be a 1 plus 9 over x minus 6. All right, well, which is exactly what I got here, 1 plus 9 over x minus 6. All right, so if you do this, you know then that this is equal to this original um, rational function right there. So you can immediately rewrite this as um, the integral of, and here, let's just do it the whole thing, 1 plus 9 over x minus 6 dx. And then we would separate that into our two integrals the integral of 1 dx plus the integral of 9 over x minus 6 dx, which again is the exact same thing I got over here. So really it's just a matter of preference. Uh, intuitively, if you can see it this way, that's great. If not, and you need to do that long division on that um, rational function, that works as well. Let's go ahead and finish this so we have an actual answer here. Integrating that 1 with that dx is just going to give me um, an x there. If I pull the 9 out, and then I've got a 1 over an x minus 6 uh, dx. All right, and then um, for anybody that might need to see it, let's go ahead and do this as a u substitution. All right, so I can let my u be that x minus 6, which is in the denominator. My derivative then is going to be du equals dx. All right, let's make those substitutions. x plus 9 times the integral of 1 over u du and then hopefully everyone knows that that integrates to natural log of absolute value of u so x plus 9 times natural log absolute value of u plus c replacing that u with what it equals x plus 9 times the natural log absolute value x minus 6 plus c for a final answer um, and two different methods there for you to uh, choose which way you like best. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks.